Coffee Break German, Season 2, Episode 4. Herzlich willkommen zu Coffee Break German. Ich bin Marc. Und ich bin Andrea. Also, wie geht's dir, Andrea? Mir geht es fantastisch. Und dir, Marc? Ja, sehr gut, danke. We're delighted to be back with another episode of Coffee Break German. This is the show in which I am learning and Andrea is teaching us. And we are really enjoying being back in the recording studio for this new season of Coffee Break German. Also, Andrea, was machen wir heute? Oh, today we're looking at adjectival endings. Okay. I know we did that already the last time. But today we're looking at definite articles with adjective. Okay. And this is all going to be within the context of making requests. Because although we're learning grammar and grammatical concepts, it's all within a context, making requests, for example, in hotels and restaurants and so on. Yes, exactly. There has to be a reason why we even bother with grammar. And today it is uh, because we want to order things or make requests. Now, now, just before we move on, I do want to sort of make a, a statement here about actually using the language. You've said it's important to use correct grammar and everything like that, but we shouldn't let that stop us trying to use the language. It doesn't really matter if we get things wrong. It's more important about using the language, but it's even better if we can do it correctly. I totally agree with you there, Mark. Um I think you need to try things out in a language. And if you get it a little bit wrong, that doesn't hinder understanding. And uh, so just go for it. Obviously, if we can say it grammatically correct, then that's even better. But wrong grammar is better than no foreign language at all, yeah? Absolutely. I totally agree. <laughs> okay, let's get on with the show. Also, bist du bereit? Ja, ich bin bereit. Los geht's. <laughs> So, Andrea, should we start with a little bit of review from, from last time? Yes, I think that's a very good idea. And I've prepared um, a couple of sentences. So I'm going to first make a few examples myself okay. of what we did the last time. Uh, for example, my first sentence is, Das ist ein teures Hotel. Okay. So, Mark, do you know what hotel, what gender it is? Um. Well... I, I'm not sure. I think I know, but I think there's a clue in that sentence as well. Because you said, das ist ein teures Hotel. And the teures is ending in us, es. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I'm guessing that hotel must be neuter. Exactly. That's our little trick with these uh, combinations here. That when it ends in an S, then it's because it's das Hotel. If it ends in an E, it's die something. If it ends... In an R, it's there something. Okay, so das ist ein teures Hotel. And with teures, we're also dropping an E in the adjective teuer. Is that right? Yes. Uh, that's remember one that of, from last week. That's one of the very tricky bits uh, in the German language. We have the, the adjective teuer, but instead of teures Hotel, we drop the E and say teures Hotel. It just sounds better for us. Okay, das ist ein teures Hotel. Okay, do you have another example? Ja, klar. Mein zweites Beispiel, my second example. Hier wohnt ein netter Mann. Okay, hier wohnt ein netter Mann. So, a man, we're talking about a man, mm -hmm. and the adjective here is net. Yes. Which I think means nice. Mm-hmm. So here lives a nice man. Genau. And the netter, let me see if I can explain this, is ending in ER because it's a masculine thing. The man is masculine. Therefore, it would be the man, der man. And we can take the ER ending of der and put it onto our adjective. Genau, sehr gut, super. I think I've got this. Yes. So I'm sure you don't struggle at all with my third example. Let's hope not. Das ist eine leckere Suppe. Okay, I'm, ich bekomme Hunger. Ja. <laughs> like Julia last time. Uh, I'm getting hungry because it sounds like that is um, a tasty soup. Genau. Okay, eine Suppe must be feminine. Mm -hmm. And leckere has the E ending because it's um, die 
from the, genau. the, the, the definite article. Die Suppe, the soup, and therefore we make eine leckere Suppe. Super, sehr gut. So, for masculine, in the indefinite, we've got ER ending. Hmm? For feminine, again, a, 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 a tasty soup, eine leckere Suppe. So, it's E ending. And then for neuter, it was ES in the adjective. That's the ending for the adjective for neuters in the indefinite. Ein teures Hotel. Genau, sehr gut. And what about plural again? Can you remind us? Yes, plural is obviously very easy in German because we have one plural for all genders. So um, I'm going to make a little example mm -hmm. here. Das sind schöne Häuser. Okay, Häuser, that's a... Oh, now wait a minute. There must be a, an umlaut in there. So if I take out the umlaut for the singular version, is it house? Yes, very good. So those are pretty houses. They are genau. nice houses. So, schöne Häuser. So, the ending for the plural is I. Yes, very good. And don't forget to leave out the article. Das sind schöne Häuser. Genau, super. Okay. Now, all of this is talking about the indefinite versions. Are there also endings for the definite versions? Yes, they're a little bit different. Okay. Are they complicated? Oh, no, I find them actually easier than okay. the ones for the uh, indefinite article. So if we were talking about the same hotel, das ist ein teures Hotel, how would we say that is the expensive hotel? Das ist das teure Hotel. Right, das ist das teure Hotel. Das ist das teure Hotel. So just an E on the end. Yes. So das ist ein teures Hotel, but das ist das teure Hotel. Genau. Okay. And what about um, with the, 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 the nice next, man? The nice man, yeah. How would we say, here lives the nice man? Hier wohnt der nette Mann. So it's the same ending. It's yes. Yeah, again. Well, Isn't that great? Yeah, good news. Um, so, hier wohnt der nette Mann. Genau. As opposed to, hier wohnt ein netter Mann with an genau. R on the end. Okay. It would be too good to be true that the, the neuter is the same. Let's see. Okay. We had, das ist eine leckere Suppe. Mm -hmm. And in the definite article, it is, das ist die leckere Suppe. The same? I know, it's a dream come true. <laughs> the first time I think it's happened in my studies of German. So, das ist die leckere Suppe. That is the um, tasty soup. Genau, sehr gut. Okay, plurals. Unfortunately not, Mark. Ah, okay. So if we talk about the beautiful houses, yeah. das sind die schönen Häuser. Okay, so we've got an N, uh, an I-N at the end there on yes. the adjective. Das sind die schönen Häuser. Yes, but okay. three out of four that's are very simple, going. so that's not bad. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, could we practice this a little bit? Yes, sure. I'll just give you some sentences in English, which I would like you to translate. Okay, go for it. This is a hot chocolate. Okay, we'll give our listeners some time to think about it. Okay, I'm going to try this. Um, we can use das ist again, yeah? Mm -hmm. Das ist eine heiße Schokolade. Sehr gut. I, I have to be honest there. I've seen heiße Schokolade written on many menus. So. Of course, that's why I picked this example. <laughs> Thank you, <schön. laughs> Okay. So our next sentence is, here is a beautiful table. Okay. Again, some time to think about it. I need to think about the word for table. The first thing I thought of there was teller, but I think teller is an item of cutlery. Yes, the teller is the plate. The plate. But, but the, it also starts with a T. Is it tisch? Yes, very good. Okay, so here is a beautiful table. I'm going to guess because I'm not quite sure about the, the gender of table. It's, I'm going to guess it's feminine. No, uh, it's der tisch. Der tisch. Okay, so here is a beautiful table. Here is ein... Schöner Tisch. Genau, sehr gut, super. But if it were here is the beautiful table, would it be here is der schöne Tisch? Genau, super. Okay, one more. Yes, our third example. 
This is the comfortable chair. Okay. This is a the one. It must be the mm-hmm. definite. We'll give some time to think. Okay. This is the comfortable chair. Can chair be stuhl? Ja, genau. I'm afraid I have no idea of what gender it is. Der Stuhl. Der Stuhl, okay. So, das ist der bequeme Stuhl. Sehr gut, super. Okay. What would it be if it was just a comfortable chair? Uh, das ist ein bequemer Stuhl. Sehr gut, super. Okay, so far so good. Ja, sehr gut, super, Mark. You did really well with these sentences. Dankeschön. But at the beginning of this session, we said that we would look at how to make requests and order things. Absolutely, yeah. And for this, we need the accusative. Okay, so we need to learn accusative versions of these these adjective endings? Exactly. I think we should do that after the break. I agree. Wir unterbrechen diese Sendung für eine sehr wichtige Meldung. If you'd like to make faster progress with your German, don't forget that you can use the premium version of this course, which features video versions of the lessons, comprehensive lesson notes and bonus listening materials. Also, worauf wartest du? What are you waiting for? If you'd like to take your German to the next level, go to coffeebreakgermanplus.com. Okay, welcome back. Now, before the break, we were looking at adjective endings, we're reviewing some of these adjective endings, but we were looking at the nominative case, that is a beautiful house or, or things like that. As Andrea said, we are needing to think about accusative cases for these uh, adjective endings too, and that's going to be within the context of making requests. Can you explain a little more about that? Yes, exactly. So uh, when we make a request, can you think of some structures you would use? For example, if you ordered something in a restaurant. Could I say, um, I would like, ich möchte? Genau. So if I were ordering a coffee, I think if I remember rightly, I would have to say, ich möchte einen Kaffee. Yes, that's uh, very good. Ich möchte einen Kaffee. Because it's the it's a it's a masculine word, mm-hmm. and the masculine um, indefinite article in the accusative case becomes einen as opposed to just ein. Genau, sehr okay. gut, super. Is there any any other way how you could say this? Could I say uh, ich hätte gern? Sehr gut, super. Ich hätte gern einen Kaffee nochmal. Exactly. Anything else? Yes, a bit more elaborate, maybe. Könnten Sie mir einen Kaffee bringen? Yeah, that's, I like that one. Könnten Sie mir einen Kaffee bringen? So could you to me a coffee to bring? Yes, exactly. Bitte. Yes, bitte is, <laughs> always helps. Absolutely. Okay, so if we were warn, wanting to order a particular type of coffee or a, a hot coffee, could, we, could mm-hmm. we try it with hot? Yes. I would like a hot coffee. Do we have to make a change to the adjective again? Yes. So in the uh, accusative, obviously the masculine singular changes Mm -hmm. and coffee is masculine singular. So we would say, ich möchte einen heißen Kaffee. Ah, so it it follows the same pattern as einen heißen Kaffee. Exactly. Okay, so ich möchte einen einen heißen Kaffee. Sehr gut. What happens with the, the feminine? Well, we have a very prominent example for a feminine hot drink. Uh, Eise Schokolade. Eise Schokolade. And in the accusative, the feminine doesn't change. Ah, so we can say, ich möchte eine heiße Schokolade. Genau, so very Super. simple. And what about neuter? A good word for neuter would be Wasser. Das Wasser. Yeah, of course, das Wasser. Yeah. And we want a, a water to be nice and cold. Mm-hmm. So we would say, ich möchte ein kaltes Wasser. So, kaltes there, that's the same as the nominative. Yes. Ein kaltes Wasser. Ich möchte ein kaltes Wasser. But we could also say, das ist ein kaltes Wasser, ja? Genau. So, das ist ein kaltes Wasser in the nominative, but ich möchte ein kaltes Wasser in the 
accusative. Yes. The accusative is really not such a big deal because it only affects the masculine singular. Okay. That all makes sense. Um, plural? Yes. For plural, um, for example, we could talk about tasty biscuits. Okay. Why not? Ich möchte leckere Kekse. Kekse. How do you spell that? K E K S E. K E K S E. Kekse. Yes, that's the plural. It's der Keks, die Kekse. So if I'm wanting to order uh, some tasty biscuits, ich möchte um, leckere Kekse. Genau. Ich möchte leckere Kekse. Sehr gut. But you could also describe some tasty biscuits in front of you saying, das sind leckere Kekse. So it's exactly the same in the accusative and in the nominative. Absolutely. Both ways. Okay, you know what's coming next. We've looked at the indefinites. What happens with the definites? If it the definites, it's the same story. The masculine singular changes. Okay, so if we're coming back to our um, hot or, yeah, hot coffee. Yes, so for example... Um, Do you want the cold coffee or the hot coffee? Exactly. <laughs> uh, ich möchte den heißen Kaffee. So it's just the same as the, the, the uh, indefinite, yeah? Exactly. Ich möchte den heißen Kaffee. Mm -hmm. And please tell me that nothing happens with the rest. No, indeed. It stays the same. Ich möchte die heiße Schokolade. So I want the, the hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. Ich möchte die heiße Schokolade. Mm -hmm. As opposed to die kalte Schokolade. Yes, exactly. Okay, and with the neuter? Ich möchte das kalte Wasser. Ich möchte das kalte Wasser. Now, if we were talking about ich möchte ein kaltes Wasser, mm -hmm. because that's the, the indefinite there, but ich möchte das kalte Wasser. Exactly. So it's the same as in the nominative. Mm -hmm. um, and then we look at the plural. And we spoke about the tasty biscuits. So I would say, ich möchte die leckeren Kekse. Ich möchte die leckeren Kekse. Okay, I realized that when we're doing this in audio format, and if our listeners are driving along in the car, it might be quite complicated to hear all these examples. Could we just go through each of the, the words using, first of all, in the nominative case, our four endings for the masculine, feminine, neuter and plural mm -hmm. with the indefinites and then the definites and then we'll do the same for the, the accusative. Yes, I think that's a very good idea. If you're watching our video version, you'll be able to see the, the tables laid out very clearly or indeed the lesson notes. Um, but if you're, if you're driving the car, obviously don't look at them. Uh, but this hopefully you can create a table in your mind. So let's go through the nominative ones first and we'll do the indefinites, then the definites. So nominative, indefinite, masculine. Das ist ein heißer Kaffee. Nominative, indefinite, feminine. Das ist eine heiße Schokolade. Nominative indefinite neuter. Das ist ein kaltes Wasser. And nominative indefinite plural. Das sind leckere Kekse. So that's the nominative ones. It's E-R-E-E-S-E. -E -E. mm -hmm. Nominative indefinite. Now let's look at the nominative definite. We'll start with the masculine. Das ist der heiße Kaffee. Nominative definite feminine. Das ist die heiße Schokolade. Nominative definite neuter. Das ist das kalte Wasser. A nominative definite plural. Das sind die leckeren Kekse. So here the adjectives go e, e, e and en for yes. the plural one. So, so far we've looked at nominative. Let's now look at the accusative version. So accusative indefinite masculine. Ich möchte einen heißen Kaffee. Okay, accusative indefinite feminine. Ich möchte eine heiße Schokolade. Accusative indefinite neuter. Ich möchte ein kaltes Wasser. Accusative indefinite plural. Ich möchte leckere Kekse. So the accusative indefinite endings are en, e, es, e. Genau. And the only change there is the en yes. or the masculine, masculine one. Masculine singular. The accusative versions. Okay, let's look at the accusative definite endings now. So... Accusative, definite, masculine. Ich möchte den heißen Kaffee. 
an accusative definite feminine. Ich möchte die heiße Schokolade. Accusative definite neuter. Ich möchte das kalte Wasser. And accusative definite plural. Ich möchte die leckeren Kekse. So, once again, looking at those endings for the definite in the accusative, it's en, e, e, and en. Genau, sehr gut. Now, all of this is fine in theory. If we remember all those endings, it's fine. But we need to be able to apply them, don't we? Yes, and I would recommend not to panic with this. Everyone will understand perfectly well if you get this wrong. Okay, can you put me to the test, please, Andrea? I think you've got some sentences for me yes, to translate. Yes, we obviously want to make an effort to get it right. Okay, so I'll do my best. I have my first sentence, a beautiful single room. So am I going to say that is a beautiful single room? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay, so a beautiful single room. We'll leave some time again. Okay, so we're looking for a beautiful single room. A uh, room is ein Zimmer, and it's a das word, it's a, a neuter word. So a single room would be ein Einzelzimmer. Mm -hmm. So you want me to say a beautiful single room, um, and I'm looking for the nominative version. So would it be ein schönes Einzelzimmer? Das ist ein schönes Einzelzimmer. Genau, sehr gut. What if you were at the reception and you you wanted to have this schöne Einzelzimmer? Okay, so I'm I'm still still looking at the the indefinite here. I would like a beautiful single room. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Ich möchte ein ein schönes Einzelzimmer. It's the same. Yes, it's exactly the same. But you were trying to trick me there. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Ich möchte ein schönes Einzelzimmer. So what if you are describing a television? It's a very big television. You okay. say, this is a big television. This is a big television. Let's leave some time. Okay. Is television Fernsehen? Der Fernseher. Oh, der Fernseher. Okay, so it's a masculine word. Yes, der. and that is the, the apparatus. Das Fernsehen is the concept of TV. Okay, so in this case, I'm, I'm wanting the apparatus, the yes. actual television set. Yes. So I am looking for, or that, that is a, a, what is it, a big television. television. Das ist ein Großer Fernseher. Sehr gut, super. Das ist ein großer Fernseher. And if I was wanting a, a beautiful, a, not a beautiful television, well, it might be a beautiful television, but perhaps a big television. Mm -hmm. Ich möchte ein, einen mm -hmm. großen Fernseher. Sehr gut. So here really the accusative kicks in. Ich möchte einen großen Fernseher. Okay. What about another one? Yes, now you're in the restaurant and you're looking at the menu and you would like to order the hot soup. The hot soup. Okay, need to think about that one. Okay, so soup, I think, is die Suppe. Genau. It's a feminine one. Therefore, it's going to work the same way as the, the heiße Schokolade. Genau. So, ich möchte die heiße Schokolade, uh, not heiße Schokolade, but the heiße Suppe. Genau. Ich möchte die heiße Suppe, or ich hätte gern die, die heiße Suppe. Sehr gut, super. Okay, one more. Yes, we're going to a masculine now. now. Okay. And you would also like to have the Italian wine. Okay, the Italian wine. So normally it would be der Wein, mm -hmm. der italienische Wein. Der italienische Wein. Die, of course, yeah, it's, it's definite. Der italienische Wein. However, if we're saying I would like the Italian wine, would we say ich möchte den 
italienischen Wein. Sehr, sehr gut, Mark. Well done. Okay, well, there's going to be more practice of all of this in our bonus listening materials, and we'll tell you about them in just a moment. Now, those bonus listening materials are part of the bonus version, the premium version of Coffee Break German. You can find out about that at the Coffee Break Academy. Just head to coffeebreakgermanplus.com to find out how you can get more out of Coffee Break German with video versions, the bonus audio, and of course, our lesson notes. And don't forget, you can also practice what you've learned in this episode over on Facebook. Why don't you post a photo of something you'd like to order in a restaurant and describe it using Ich möchte and make sure you include an adjective in the correct form. Go to facebook.com slash coffeebreakgerman. A good challenge for all our listeners. We're also on Twitter at Learn German and indeed on Instagram at Coffee Break German. One other thing we'd like to ask you is would you mind leaving us a review on iTunes? It would be great to hear what you think of Coffee Break German Season 2. Also, das reicht für heute? Ja, ich denke schon, ja. I think we've well and truly covered what we need to cover. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Bis bald. You have been listening to a production of the Coffee Break Academy for the Radiolingua Network. Copyright 2017, Radiolingua Limited. Recording copyright 2017, Radiolingua Limited. All rights reserved.